women. Real? No! <laughs> Memes! Also, be nice. Uh, <laughs> what's up, roommates? I'm back. Hi. Hello. I have terrible news. Yes, it's partly that men widely don't know how the women's bodies work, but also for the fourth year in a row, I was hit by the January curse and so many things happened at the beginning of the year. I've always thought this is going to be my year. I'm so hyped. I'm amped. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make more videos. I'm going to stream more often. I'm going to go adventure. And then the universe just humbles me. <laughs> Brief recap, January 1st, right after we had that really long New Year's stream, the computer that I've normally, okay, it's not, it's not here anymore. I know you can't see it, but <laughs> the computer that I normally make videos on and stream on, it went down again and it needed all new inside parts. So I had to take that to the shop. So right now I'm working on a really old backup computer that was like the first computer I made videos on, which just none of the programs work. <laughs> and then I was accidentally poisoned by my roommate. Accidentally. <laughs> and like a, a bunch of other stuff. But I am back and we're going to make do with what we have. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's look at some memes. A woman with an X is a red flag. <laughs> Let, let's hear them out. <laughs> an X implies any man who's been inside her fallopian tubes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's not, it's not of if, but when she will cheat with one of those exes, learn or perish. That line kind of goes hard. <laughs> Can we get some learn or perish in the chat? <laughs> in the full, okay. All right. If, if he's going that far, um, see a doctor. <laughs> I didn't know that lady parts didn't have any sort of mobility. I had this sort of idea that when ladies go to pee, their parts would just sort of open up <laughs> like the Demogorgon. I'm f***ing dying picturing someone saying this out loud in the visual imagery. It's something else. <sighs> like the Demogorgon. <laughs> You want a real test for a guy? <laughs> Show him the movie Teeth and ask him what he thinks about it. <laughs> I think there might be something weird going on. Inside. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Why, yes, we used to be able to climb trees with our prehensile parts. Those were the days. Jake's fist at evolution. Whoa, yours can make a fist. <laughs> Avatar, the last labia bender. <laughs> Finally, one for the penises. Look at these perfect virgin crayons. What? Now look at what happens when they are used over and over <laughs> If this is what happens to crayons, what do you think is gonna happen to you? Look out, fellas. <laughs> Cause you know, the clamping power. <laughs> no, no. Line. This isn't even satire. This really happens to crayons. <laughs> Hang on. What's that other one? Uh, <laughs> virginal P nice. Oh, it's a nice green banana. After one partner, ah, oh, it's perfect. It's the best banana. <laughs> Penis after two partners slash regular uh, fun time. Only good for banana bread. <laughs> uh, be nice after three partners. Excessive <gasps> ruin. It's just toss them out at that point, you know. <laughs> Testoster. <laughs> Men have a sex drive. Women don't. Except for a precious few. Basic biology. Takes a lot of courage to come out and admit that women find you off-putting. I am proud of you. Of course. Batman himself couldn't waterboard this out of me. Fam. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you f***ing kidding me? I can't even hold it proper. Oh, oh, okay. One inch. Are you kidding me? Two inch. I can't even hold it properly. Three inch. I've never been so unsatisfied in my life. Four inch. I've had bigger. Five, five inch. Good, but not good enough. Uh, six inch. About right. Seven. Can't complain. Eight. Eight. Perfect. Oh, fellas. <laughs> Not a bit much. 10, it's hurting my insides. 11, oh no, <laughs> I'm destroyed. <laughs> this reminds me so much of a TikTok that I saw a while ago. Hang on, she puts better than I ever could. Here we go. <laughs> I don't think you know how big 12 inches is. You don't. <laughs> Do you see that? Just in scale, where is that going? Not in here, okay? The average gal, is gonna get about that much. Maybe this, if they're a pro, but the rest of that, completely unmanageable. This is the biggest I've ever seen in real life, but this is fine. It's completely fine. This, fabulous. 
almost too big, definitely too big, but sick day, <laughs> ER, 27 club, and now I'm just skipping my next one. <laughs> Anything after that is entirely unethical. I don't think we know what we're talking about. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard it put better than that. It's been a while since I've watched this, so I kind of forgot. Uh, I kind of forgot exactly what she said, but skip your next life. I love the sick day one. Oh, that's good. <laughs> to be honest, I think females are good for one adult fun time only. Only one time. After uh, getting all in there, her once she's pretty much useless after. Wait, what? After going in there once, she's pretty much useless afterwards. Single use ladies? <laughs> Have you been outside? The pin ice destroys her vagina. And it's it's simply disgusting to do it again. Never again. Especially after someone else is, oh no. And don't try to tell me otherwise. I want to help you though. I'm not an incel by the way, made 94. Pl okay, okay, okay. All right, r slash that happened. God, it's been a long time since I looked at that one. This is a perfect example. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> Lol, he thinks he's not an insult. I'd be shocked if he's ever been with 94 people. Um, excuse me, 94 plus. Plus is killing me. Like why 94 plus? He could have just said 90 plus. Yeah, well, uh, you know, wow. When he walks in a room, whoo. Watch out. Oh. <laughs> when you've been a vegan for 10 years and your fallopian tubes aren't clogged with dairy and animal fat, so there's no menopause. I don't know how to disassemble this. <laughs> I think a lot of these could be summed up with just like, go see a doctor. Regular checkups and whatnot, but also to float these questions or statements. I think it's pretty gross, people breastfeed. It's not milk, it's body fluids. Might as well feed your little one your own pee. We have bottles and formula that's meant to feed your baby. Homie, what? <laughs> Stop giving your, your body fluid a classy name by calling it milk. It's not milk, milk comes from cows. Ah yes, from a cow, it's not a bodily fluid. <laughs> it just spawns in. <laughs> it's almost like saying almonds make milk. Idiots everywhere. Well, no. Almonds don't have tiny little <laughs> milkers on them. <laughs> that would be... <laughs> that would be a little bit nutty. You need to leave. My mom said the hips and face change when you've lost your V-card. Lol. Uh, <laughs> 22,000 likes? I mean, when you give birth, your hips kind of, you know widen <laughs> they do i never believed my mom but when my daughters lost it i saw it immediately stop playing into this come on oh my god what were the differences i've heard the walk changes too that's what my mom says too and the way they walk changes stop it i had been moved out when i lost it lol and my dad is who noticed i was like hey no lol but he said the face just changes and the way you walk and your hips look different your innocence leaves the face i guess your innocence isn't a ghost inside of you that suddenly gets sucked into a dude when you mm. your innocence isn't a ghost that haunts your face and then suddenly departs when you when a man exercises the demon i didn't notice lol <laughs> until i went back to look at pictures yes the way you walk changes I, what is this fanfic i don't like it I, we're moving on. <laughs> the key to learning a backflip is to surprise your muscles. Oh no. All right, hitting play. The key to learning a backflip is to surprise the muscles. Let's do this. You're prepping them. Oh, okay. No, tell them, do tell them we're not doing anything. And then? I'm not gonna surprise them. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, I'm glad she's fine. <laughs> oh, that's goofy. <laughs> Don't be greedy and cheat on a girl who can use all four. Count to four. I can only count to four. I can only count to. Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. What? <laughs> huh? What does this mean? Children conceived when the mother didn't uh, see O Town are not unsold. Are not unsold. By the way, when it dies, its spirit neither goes to heaven or hell. It just destroyed like that of animals. Oh my God, fellas, take your ladies to see O-Town immediately. <laughs> uh, oh, 
34M, Westmont, Illinois. Ah, dating app, yes. So, are you curvy? I don't know, you can see my pictures. Yes, big boobs you have. Wow, amazing. Two of my ex-girlfriends, their boobs were small, and I'm not... <laughs> I'm not sure why. Huh? <laughs> What do you mean, not sure why? Because <laughs> I think women drink milk a lot to grow their boobs, and I guess two of my ex-girlfriends are not drinking it enough. <laughs> we're not drinking it enough, I guess. Maybe it was the wrong food they were eating or something. Aw. <laughs> yeah, maybe toss this one back. <laughs> There's other fish out there. There's other men holding fish out there in the sea, you know? <laughs> it's silly, but I think <laughs> 34 might be... It might be too late for him. I bring you this masterpiece. My study showed that every man do not like huge boobs. <laughs> when men stare at huge boobs, they think about their future children. They think if they marry huge milkers, what? <laughs> their children will get plenty of milks. Supply demand, right? <laughs> Basic boobonomics. <laughs> In this world, men's sole purpose is to sacrifice, okay? So when a man stares at your huge boobs, it's not like he likes it or what? Okay, it's all for the children's. This also applies for huge butt. Huge butt equals smart children. Brains develop in the ass. Of course, men love smart children. Okay, but what if like thighs or personality? Well, what does my children gain from that? Personality equals caring mother thighs equals hmm. I will do another study about thigh. Wait for my reply. <laughs> I actually can't wait. <laughs> Learn or perish! <laughs> Did y'all put some learner perishes in the chat? I'm gonna check. Same girl, but the girl on the left has wife potential. Is an actress? That's a child. <laughs> what? And the girl on the right doesn't. Why? Age? <laughs> Wait, no, wait, oh, thousand cock stare. Learn to see it, never commit to it, and do your bit not to cause it. Oh my God. What did I just, ah. Uh, at least people like this can't help but tell on themselves, you know? <laughs> now the rest of us know. Stay away. Did you fail sex, Ed? What do you think the thing ovaries produce that combines with a sperm is called? An egg! <laughs> also, animals that lay eggs have ovaries because, you know, that's the organ that makes eggs. Oh no, what's going on? A woman does not produce an egg. She produces an ovary. Oh! Oh no! Then a man's sperm turns it into an egg. How big? I beg of you, how big? Describe how big you think an ovary is that is then turned into an egg that's in there. Homie really thinks people are coming out of hard shells, you know? <laughs> oh, I've seen how chickens do it. Same deal. <laughs> Before and after breast augmentation slash lift. Try on <laughs> with a shocked face. Okay. You know, if you just did chest exercises, they would have gone to that firmness. Do I have paint on here? <laughs> Okay, all right, here we, here, Dr. O.T. is in. Uh, this is a rib. This is another rib. This is another rib. This is the fancy rib that goes in the front. Some people call it a sternum, but don't listen to them. They're liars. <laughs> oh, what the fudge? When a paint become Photoshop. Okay, never, ignore, oh God. <laughs> okay, all right, nothing happened. All right, okay, so we've got the rib cage here, and then we're gonna have the, uh, you know what muscles look like, right? They're like these thingies. They're like strands of muscle goodness, and then they kind of like, so that that's generally like a pectoral muscle, right? And then what sits on top of the pectoral muscle, but a boob. <laughs> so how, how much, how much do you think someone's gonna need to work out in order to just fill a boob with muscle, huh? <laughs> it's a lot. Boobs themselves are filled a lot with the jiggly bits, you know, the, the jig. <laughs> and if it's not sitting in a way that you're hoping it to, it's not realistic. You can't just say blanket statement. Just do push-ups, fam. Get boob muscles, duh. <laughs> Easy to spot for those with eyes to see. Okay, uh, we've got male, shirtless, female, also shirtless. And then we've got Princess Diaries over here. Uh, Anne Hathaway, right? Oh my God. God, Anne is not shrugging her shoulders. She's a man. <sighs> okay, are mine arched? No, but I can make them arched. You know, people's bodies are just different, right? 
that's normal. <laughs> it's normal for everybody's bodies to have some differences, you know? We're not all... We're all built differently, okay? Do you remember... <laughs> Do you remember that article that I talked about a few years ago where the American military tried to design a pilot's chair that would be perfectly suited to every pilot and wouldn't need any adjustments at all? So they tried to measure out what would be the most average sizing for every individual who was a pilot. They took dozens, if not more than that, measurements. Anyways, they measured a ton of people and then they applied those measurements to building the perfect chair, the most excellent chair that's gonna fit everybody. And then when they had it out, the one with the most averages, everybody sat in it and they all universally said, this is uncomfortable because everybody's bodies are built differently. <laughs> what is this rule you think you've come up with? Why would a rich famous guy marry a 34 year old woman? Ugh, 34? That's yuck. <laughs> If you started immediately, you might be able to have two kids, and she's publicly had adult fun time with a lot of guys. Publicly? What? <laughs> I, don't, mm, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> Despite her wealth, she's very low quality for any successful male. Like as a, a match that you're gaming up in your head, like fantasy football. Okay. Just seems weird and almost like he's a gay guy. Oh no. You're writing a different fan fiction and it's worse. Why would a successful man at want a middle-aged woman who's always on tour? Is it, could it be because he's gay? <laughs> who's gay in your narrative? Oh, right. Strong woman equals he gay. Of course. <laughs> Fellas, is it gay to like women? <laughs> <laughs> My boyfriend got the jab and I did not. And I stopped having periods for four months immediately following his first, his first dose. I'm 45 and no, I wasn't pregnant. If just being, a <gasps> if just being around someone vaxxed could have that impact on my reproductive system, <gasps> I can't imagine impact on a pregnant woman. <laughs> <gasps> my boyfriend's vaccination stopping my period. Anti tampon tax meninist Ryan Williams says women should control their bladders. Sparks fury with anti tampon rant as he tells women to just control their bladders. Yeah, you can choose when to pee out blood. <laughs> just hold it in. Be an adult. Grow up. <laughs> Ladies, grow up. Men hold it in. <laughs> Why are her legs so hairy? Oh, yeah. W women don't have body hair. Readers added context they thought people might want to know. The reason is because women naturally have leg hair. <gasps> what? It's this post all over again. Is it me or Sony making their lead female protagonist look masculine as hell? Barely no curves or non-feminine features. Okay, it's, it's this image that I'm thinking of. <laughs> Can you explain to me why the hell Alloy has a beard? <laughs> Tell me you've never been up close to a woman without telling me you've never been up close to a woman. <laughs> Girls who have self fun time. The clip is not meant for self pleasure. It's meant for creating a child. Okay, we've gone from incredibly large egg sized baby creator to Really, itty bitty? <laughs> you morons! Do you know why you feel like garbage after you do- Obviously you do- All the ladies tell me they feel terrible after. That's because your body part is sending bad chemicals to your brain. By doing that to yourself, you are killing your body. That's the devil's doorbell. And if you keep pressing it, soon enough he will answer. Who hurt you? And why haven't you grown up enough to get over it? Have you been outside? Tighten, tone, and improve. What? Tighten, tone, and improve the delicate female anatomy. Oh my God. Everybody is different. Everybody is different. Don't. So what brings you in today? Well, Doc, I got mugged. Mm-hmm. And shot. Mm. In the arm? Oh God. Mm. And when was your last period? Ah. Silly female, so <laughs> you know it's all in your head. Am I tripping? Brock Lesnar's daughter, Maya. Okay. Broke the shot put record at, at Colorado State. O okay, tripping. I'll repeat it. That's a transgender woman. Either that or she's been... Huh? You don't know how genes work? I know exactly how they work. And his use of steroids didn't pass anything down in her. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can say she's not attractive to you. That's okay. It doesn't make her trans, though. Clearly, I was being sarcastic. When? No. Shut up. 
When sperm enters a woman, it swims until it hits a wall and then seeps into her flesh. If it's in her mouth, it can get into her nasal areas behind your eyes and even in your inner ear. And then it, <laughs> what? And then it enters your bloodstream and collects in your brain and spine. Oh my God. It's gonna create a tiny little person in your ear canal. And they yap, yap, yap. You're gonna have a guy yapping in your ear all day. <laughs> oh no. Oh. This guy saw one cosmic horror movie and went, this is fact. <laughs> the allegations true that you're secretly a lizard. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go with no. It's horrible that it happened to these people for real in real life, but I've learned so much. How's it feel to no longer be married to someone that sniffed me when I'd get home from running errands to make sure I wasn't cheating on him at the grocery store? What would he even be smelling for? Man musk. <laughs> man pheromones, you know, highly detectable by men. <laughs> Whoa, do not read the comments on that one. Oh my goodness. AI woman's anatomy is not actually the worst I've seen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like it tried. It made a sort of centaur woman. <laughs> the rule of thumb is if it's completely hairless and the and the parts are still in. Still in? You should complete you should report it. No grown woman should have a cute area. Huh? That's not how it works. Yes, it's how it works. I'm a woman. I know exactly how the girl body develops. I've been through it. When the parts are still inside, that person is underage for sure, plus most likely virgin too. Are vo oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> Do they think that we're all like made out of Lego? We just pop parts off whenever. <laughs> I, I. Why do you ask me to cover this subreddit? Never again. Yeah, because banging two holes together opens limitless possibilities. Do you think that's how lesbians have adult fun time? Oh, geez, got me. One grows a vaginal horn or something. Oh, you poor sweet summer child. Oh. There's so much more to do than just A plus B. I <laughs> I've always heard this, but like, what's good about it? I feel like positions would be limited and uncomfortable. I'm pregnant. It's bad. Yeah, my hormones can make me wild and everything, but it's uncomfortable. And just the thought of a baby growing inside of is really not exciting for us. Also, the more adult fun time you have, the bigger the baby grows and therefore the labor will be more painful. I'm not a doctor, but I do practice common sense. Well, now what? How do these people exist? Who raised you? Really? Today I learned that's wild. Female anatomy is amazing. The vagina has a heartbeat when excited. The vagina forms to their partner's penis. A literal mold and when it's a long-term partner. Y'all got that memory foam update? <laughs> and female uteruses chooses homing device to bring the man to the ovary. It isn't the one that gets there first or the one that survives your chosen lady. Okay. There are some facts that are mixed in here. <laughs> baby eats first. Prenatal vitamins are for you to stay alive. Not the baby it will eat everything and leave for you with nothing. The baby will leach whatever it needs from your bones, teeth, hair, body. Yeah, that's pretty scary. A lot seem to think this way. Yep, just take virginity as an example. Or how the edge of a blade becomes dull over time. I love to show this meme when stuff like this is discussed. <laughs> Checkmate, adult fun time havers. The penis of a virgin. The penis is still large and healthy. It hasn't been crushed inside dozens of vaginas and will one day make the right woman a happy wife. <gasps> oh no, the penis of a man who had a multiple adult fun time partners. It shriveled down to one third of its original size due to pressure and will no longer be able to please anyone. Oh, sucks, guys. The logic goes both ways, you know? <laughs> Women aren't adults. Oh, no. Oh, uh-oh. Okay, this is this is alpha masculinity here. Women aren't adults, they are women. The term adult was made up by Locke to help equalize men and women. Men want women with low body counts because women are objects. And just like any other object, it loses its value and usefulness the more people use it. In women, a high body count creates a cascade of psychological and physiological problems, to name a few, but it's also unhygienic and disgusting. Every The DNA of every man a woman has ever been with stays, meaning the <laughs> sweat and Spit. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> oh God. Oh. Oh, you like women? Well. Hope they've never kissed a dude before, or else you're gay. <laughs> what? Okay, hang on. I accidentally stumbled across something. It's not. 
I don't think this is for this video. <laughs> One of these has to work. How to relieve sinus pressure. How to relieve sinus pressure. Hydration, nasal sprays, decapitation, or, or steam inhalation. You know, it, all of these are equally good viable choices. <laughs> Michelle, please stop before you say something that ruins your credibility. Women may claim to like sex, but you really don't. You tolerate it under limited circumstances and during limited time frames. That's nature's design. Please be honest now. <laughs> Oh, I think that's as good a post to end on as any. <laughs> the fellow who's never pleased a lady. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, roommates, that was today's video. We dove into r slash bad women's anatomy to discover how men continually misunderstand how women's bodies work. What a fun, what, what, a, what a good time we all enjoyed that didn't we <laughs> i'm glad to be back thanks for having me back everybody i know it's been a minute um i'll try to stream a little bit more often now that i am back and i'll keep making videos all right roommates we'll see you in the next one where we take it one topic at a time roll that outro whoa oh, oh, oh. Well, can your chair do this <laughs>